The next uh, speaker up on stage, legends continue to make noise in the world that we live in today. He's a DJ, he's a producer, he's a creator, founder, host of the Rodeo Radio Podcast. Give it up for Tony A. the Wizard. Come on. Come on, make some noise for Tony A. the Wizard, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Uh, I see many patients here that I uh, recognize and some that I don't recognize. So uh, please allow me to introduce myself. I'm going to share a little bit of story about me so you guys can get a better feel of who I am. Because when Gil invited me, I clearly told him, I said, look, I'll come, but I want to speak. So I hope that whatever I share blesses you guys, uh, motivates you guys, encourages you guys. Because when I read uh, Kelly Mack right here, I just don't see the Mexican flag here. I see everyone, and to me, that, that's all about stuff for me. And I've always seen it that way. So let me just share real quick. I try not to talk a lot, because I could talk a lot, but I'm gonna try to keep it short, okay? Um, um, for example, my mother and my father are both from Mexico. I'm one of 10 kids. Uh, half of my family was born there, half of them were born here. I was born here in the city of Torrance. We lived in Compton till I was about nine years old from there. Uh, we moved to the city of Wilmington, where I still live. I'm 54 years old now, got five kids, three grandbabies, and uh, I've been producing music, DJing since 1987. I got out of the music industry around 2002. Started working in the city of Compton. I was a local 572 teamster. I worked for uh, Kroger, and uh, I only needed like five and a half more years to retire. I could have qualified for my golden 80, and qualify for early retirement, but instead what I did, I just left my job, started filming, started broadcasting, opened up a website. One thing that I realized is that being in this music industry, I realized that we didn't have a voice. So I started the platform, and I started calling a bunch of my old buddies, and then I want to share your story on my platform. Well, I don't rap anymore, it doesn't matter, you have a story. So little by little, you know, the subscribers were going up, People continue to watch, and uh, we have a voice. I didn't think that anybody was actually even gonna listen to me, quite honest with you. I thought, you know, maybe I'll do it for a couple of months, and then after that, you know, I'm out. Maybe I'll go back to work, I don't know, but I wanted to take a chance at doing something, because I didn't want to grow old and say to myself, I should have just took that chance. So I'm taking that chance now to give our people a voice, a platform, it's not my story anymore, it's your story. So my thing is when Gil talked about unity, one thing that I've noticed in the late 90s when I began to work with a lot of Chicano rappers, I'll, I'll name a few like A.O.T., Kid Frost, uh, Slow Pain, Rest in Peace, uh, J.B., uh, Little Rob, uh, and so on and so forth. One thing that I've noticed that between many of those guys, behind closed doors, many of them hated on each other, okay? I, I, I'm trying to come at it from a different perspective because I need for us to understand and learn. Many of those guys talked about each other, you know, bad. And me as a producer, as a DJ, I heard a lot of this stuff. I got out of the industry in 2002. 2019, September 11th, I go live with this podcast. I began to invite a lot of Chicano rappers. Same things that I happened. I, I realized that that same spirit, if you will, was in the next generation. And my thing is this, when I think of the word unity, I guess my interpretation would be respect. Us as men, we need to learn how to respect each other. Because I, I, what I've seen is that many rappers, uh, Chicano rappers specifically, will say, I'm the best, or I'm better, or that dude is whack. My thing is this, that's not for me to judge. My thing is just for you, for me, to give you a voice. Share your story. Many of them come, why would you interview that guy? That guy's no good, that guy sucks, that guy this. I don't worry about that, but my thing is this. If we're ever gonna unite, we need to learn how to respect each other. Stop talking about each other. Stop telling other people stories about so-and-so. Respect each other, let us love each other. That's how we're gonna be able to come together. You know, I didn't know what I was gonna say because I don't have, I didn't, I didn't write any notes, but today I prayed about it and I asked God to leave me and just to, for me to speak what's in my heart, because I believe that out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. If it's in here, it's gonna come out through here. 
So my thing is this, I want to continue to push unity, to push respect for our people. Because I think it's time for our people to recognize who we are, come together as one, and move forward. That's what I want to do. Thank you for your time. Give it up once again for Tony A from the Rodeo Radio Podcast, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, make some noise.